Welcome back guys. Today we are making a Spider-Man themed bracelet. Here at Paracord Planet we are all excited about the new Spider-Man movie coming out, Spider-Man Far From Home. And so I wanted to make a little bit different of a, a Spider-Man bracelet this time. So I've got some Spider-Man colors here. Moonstruck and Imperial Red Diamond. I'm doing some patterns instead of solid colors today. And we're going to be adding a web splat design to it with white microcord. I went ahead and made a paracord bracelet already with a cobra weave. We'll link to a two color cobra tutorial in the description. And we're just going to be adding the webbing to it today. Let's dive in. So the design for this web splat that we're going to be making came from a popular paracord blogger named Storm Drain. The design is originally meant for shoelaces, but he adapted it to paracord stitching. So we'll start by just giving about a five foot section of microcord. I just do my arm span and snip that off. This is probably going to be more than we're going to need, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So thread one end onto your fid. All right, so this design centers on about five weave bumps. And so just kind of pick the one that goes in the middle and count over two from there. And that's where we'll, where we'll start. Just come up through one of the, the outside bumps. And we grab my other end too. So we pull through until it's about halfway. And then just set the, the one that's not on your fid kind of to the side for now. All right, so then we're gonna count over to the other side, diagonal, and then two more. And that's gonna be our next weaving point. So just go down through that blue loop again. And this is the diagonals that we'll be working with. All right, so we're going blue bump to blue bump. And then on the way back, here, I'm just gonna I'll buckle this to make it easier. On the way back, we're gonna go on the red bumps, so just tuck it behind the next red. And then we're gonna go back to the red, right next to where we started. So you have two lines really close together. We have to kind of get them down to where they're supposed to be so they don't cross. That's what it'll look like. We're gonna make five of those down the the bracelet. So now back to blue, to blue, and then red, to red. At this point, you might want to tighten them down so that they aren't crossing over. All right, so now that that side's done, take your fit off of that end. Yeah, I ended up having way too much cord. You guys would probably be all right with even two to three feet. All right, so now going back to the, the starting spot, we're just going to lace around the back to come up on the opposite red. that it's directly across. And then pull that good and tight before you start. And again, we're gonna be going the one across from it, which is this one, and then down two. So it should be the one right next to your last blue to keep the lines in place. It's best to go over, under, over, under. So I'm gonna just weave it through as I go. And visually, this isn't gonna make a huge difference. All right, so then on the second one, going back, you're gonna to wanna to do the opposite of the over-under that you did before. So I'm gonna go under my first one, over the next, under, oops, under, over, under. That. And then another red to red. You guys get the picture now. Over, under, over, under. Okay. 
Last one now. And I went over on that one, so I'm going to go underneath. Just pull it up right there. Over the next one. Underneath. Alright, so it looks like kind of a mess right now, but once we get it tightened down, it'll look a lot better. Alright, so after a little bit of tightening down and moving things around, I've got it basically to where I want it to be. Um, if you look at Storm Drain's pictures, he's got them even nicer. Um, so we'll link to that in the description if you want to look at those pictures and do it yourself. And if you come up with something better than, than what I've done here, definitely post pictures and, and comment. So on the back side, we're just going to snip both of these down very close to the bracelet and melt the ends. And just leaving the ball of plastic there should be enough to keep it from pulling through. And that's basically it. Links to the supplies used in this video can be found in the description, along with the links to the blogs I was talking about earlier. And like I said, if you have ideas for how to do this web splat differently, definitely let us know and send us pictures if you've done it yourself and, and check out those blogs see how they did it as well otherwise thanks for watching we'll see you next time